we're going to be getting points and we're going to be getting goals, then we need someone to score them. So the top of the golden boot charts are going to be dominated by two individuals. And they are two of the best players in the world, even though they are strikers. Normally you have a look at your Messi, your Ronaldo's, but these two, Robert Lewandowski at plus 225, Karim Benzema at plus 250. The big one on there that I'm not seeing is Gerard Moreno. Uh, Pavlos, you go first. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could make a case for any of the other guys. Uh, I can really have some nice things to say about Rafinha, about Vinicius, about Obama Young, who's probably going to Chelsea, maybe. Um, yeah, Gaspas, not so much. Raulundo Tomas, of course. Dan Zuma, okay. But, you know, it's kind of like uh, the similar uh, similar situation to what happens uh, as to who's going to win the title. It's going to be a, a, two, a two-man situation. Lewandowski and Benzema. So, Who's going to take it? Uh, as I said before, I think, I, I, I'm not hoping, I think that uh, Barcelona are going to have a tough time gelling all those new players together. And, uh, you know, I, I, I believe there's going to be a lot of um, troubles, uh, especially at the offense, because they have so many uh, forwards. Each one is going to want a ball to himself and uh, there's only one ball uh, in the game. So, um, with all the... Um, pluralism that Barcelona have in the offense with uh, Obama Young if he stays, uh, Dembele, they have the Pai, they have Braithwaite, they have Lewandowski, they have uh, all kinds of players, they have youngsters that they also should play and should, you know, uh, be developed. I think the scoring might be trickled down to a lot of players instead of just one, because in the case of uh, Benzema and Real Madrid, he's, go he's you know, their, their focal point. He Everybody plays for him. Maybe Vinicius Jr. can score a couple of goals. Yes, okay. But uh, Benzema is going to be the leading scorer for Real Madrid for sure, unless something horrible happens, like an injury or a transfer. Uh, so I think Benzema has been a consistent um, scorer for Real Madrid and in the La Liga. So I have to go with Karim Benzema in this case. Okay, yeah, and anyone can understand why. And in fact, that you can actually bet both Karim Benzema and Robert Lewandowski. It probably and comes win. out around minus 175. So, I mean, you're going to put two units on, one unit on each, and you're going to be guaranteed, worst case scenario, that then mm -hmm. two units, you're going to get back plus, uh, plus 125 in profit. So basically, it works out around the minus 175. So two units on, you'll get 3.25 units back. Worst case scenario. Now, Roman, I think that... Real Madrid just do enough. I very rarely see them score fours and fives. They very they stroll through the game because they're so superior. But I see, and this goes back to what I was saying about they've got to be impressive on the eye, Barcelona. And I do see them scoring fours and fives. And that's why I've got to go with Lewandowski, even though I totally understand everyone's argument about Benzema. Yeah, and I totally understand everyone's argument about Lewandowski. I mean, it's kind of equal in that sense. You know, you've got two... Uh, top players scoring goals. We know that Lewandowski in Bayern Munich was just a scoring machine. He can getting, stop getting goals. And at the moment, in preseason so far, he hasn't managed to score. Uh, you can see he's had pretty good chances. He has a bit of that extra maybe anxiety of coming into a new team and trying to get a goal. He'll have another opportunity in the Juan Gamper on Sunday before the La, La Liga starts. But if he doesn't score there, maybe he'll start with that little bit of anxiety and hopefully it won't complicate itself too much. He's a top goal scorer. We all know that. And I'm sure he's been through much worse situations, he should uh, start scoring uh, ASAP. But uh, I do think that Karim Benzema, you know, if Madrid can kind of keep at a similar level and he can uh, keep being that focal point, as uh, Pablo has mentioned, I think uh, that most of the goals are going to go through him. And he's just playing so well of late. He's really a top uh, golden boot contender uh, and, uh, you know, uh, top player in the world. So, I mean, given how he's been performing with Real Madrid and how he's got that ease to find goals. I really do think that at the moment, for me, he's the slight favorite to, to win the top scorer of La Liga, the Pichichi, for next season. Even though, I mean, I perfectly understand, as you said, if, if you want to go for Lewandowski. Uh, and the other contenders, for me, are a bit uh, far off from them. Maybe Vinicius, who had a pretty good season last season, he could be maybe uh, the third uh, surprise candidate to fight. You think he gets maybe... more than 15, then, Vinny Jr.? I, th I think I think so. You know, he's been progressing along these seasons. Uh, he's been improving and, and improving his not just scoring stats but shooting stats. Because let's not forget that Benitez, the first few seasons, he was made fun of because he couldn't really uh, shoot towards goal. He kept shooting 
into the sky, but he's really improved in that <laughs> sense, and I think that he could become very important for Madrid this season, especially if Benzema has some sort of maybe injury or has to rest a bit more in terms of age. Benitez has got to be that man for them, you know, to step up in attack. So uh, maybe him or Jan Moreno could be uh, the underdogs maybe, but for me it's between Lewandowski and Benzema. OK, let's have a little look at the official picks because obviously we've only got really two to pick from because we're talking about the creme de la creme. Um, so who we got for? Benzema at plus 250, Benzema at plus 250, twice for the two boys, and I'm sitting there in the middle. Even though the, both the lads think that Benzema's hmm. favourite, on the numbers, Lewandowski's favourite because he plays for a team that will have to keep going and keep uh, catching the eye because they've got a lot of ground to make up in favour. 